Hi everyone, for this question it said, by substitute u equals to square root x plus 9, find the value of a and b if this integration can be using partial fraction. And then hence you need to find out what is your result from this integration. So this question already mentioned, starting with u to be square root x plus 9. So which means that this part it is substitute in terms of u already. Then what we need to do is differentiate with respect to x. So I can do it implicitly. If you move your square root, you can get it u square x plus 9. Differentiate it to u implicitly du dx. Differentiate x, we get 1. So therefore, du dx And we move the dx, we do the cross multiplication, 2u du equals to dx. So actually, you move your dx going up, you can directly know that 2u du is dx. So means this dx is substituted by 2u du. Then what else? x. x haven't finding what is to, what to be substituted here. So u square equals to x plus 9. So x equals to u square minus 9. So from the question, integrate x over square root x plus 9 dx. After we substitute, it is integrate x substitute as u square minus 9. And then this square root is substitute as u. And then dx is substitute by 2u du, this is 1. Then finally, we simplify this integral before we start integration. So you can see u can be simplified where it is cancelled off. Now we have just remaining 2 over u square minus 9 du. To integrate this, the question asks you using partial fraction. So we continue, we take out this fraction, 2 over u square is u plus 3, u minus 3. So we follow the partial fraction given from the question, it will be u minus 3, u plus 3. We express this fraction in partial fraction, the first factor u minus 3, the second factor u plus 3. This is constant A, this is constant B, where this is all proper fraction. Find out our A, B. A will be multiplied with U plus 3 and B will be multiplied with the factor it don't have, U minus 3. Then we're going to start U equals to negative 3, U equals to 3 so that we can find out what is your A, B. So negative 6, B b negative 1 over 3 substitute 3 here 6 a equals to 0 so a equals to 1 over 3 therefore therefore your fraction 2 u minus 3 u plus 3 can be expressed in partial form which is a 1 over 3 u minus 3 for b is negative 1 over 3, u plus 3. Therefore, we continue to integrate this partial fraction and find out what is your value. So, from the questions here, therefore, integrate 2 over u square minus 9 du, it is equivalent to integrate the partial fraction form.
right so now we are finding out what is your what is your integration for this so to make it integrate easily we can take out 1 over 3 so you are integrating 1 over u minus 3 and then u plus 3 integrating fraction so when you're integrating fraction you notice that this is fx this is f prime x so non u minus 3 and then minus ln this is u plus 3 we put modulus to make sure that our log function is valid for all value of u so that the u here always positive it can it can work up the function of ln so lastly we substitute back the u here which is represented by square root x plus 9 so actually you want to stop here also can or not you can see ln minus non so I can simplify some more if you ln when you have Long item minus long item together it will be in division then we see what is important here for the first part is define your u and differentiate it correctly so this is your basic finding the differentiate so that for the next step you can substitute here in term of u here correctly so substitute and simplify to get this and then with the question guidance here ask you express in partial fraction so our next step is going to solve this partial fraction so this is the concept of partial fraction finding out your a and b and the, cor the answer is correct for the a and b in your partial fraction and then the next step is going to integrate your partial fraction and this is your answer in the final form so you can let it like this or you can write it to combine into a single log also can